Welcome back, everybody, inside of Destiny today. This is Nick with Degenerate Gaming. Um, and making this video today, I wanted to uh, bring up something interesting that I saw. Um, I read a, uh, so a Game Informer article we to where um, a few of the guys from Game Informer actually went to go play with a bunch of the bunch developing drive. team for the uh, Taken King. Under. Um, and, and they, you know, they wrote a bunch of different stuff about, you know, stuff they saw, things to look forward to, and I wanted to kind of go over that out there and put that information out there to you. Um, again, this is just what I read, um, kind of, you know, feeding it back to you guys. Um, and again, they said that, you know, um, all this stuff is subject to change depending on, you know, if they want to, how they want to keep it, go about it. Um, so keep that in mind as we move forward and, you know, don't try to hang me if the Taken King comes out and something that I was talking about wasn't in there. Um, so, well, to get started, we'll start with the one thing that uh, I think Destiny has lacked and is sorely needed, and that's a, uh, a more rounded and better story. Um, it's been said that... They're going to be doing a couple of different things. Um, things with ghosts, where you can go and up and inspect things. Um, sorts kind of give you a little more uh, look into the lore um, and the Destiny universe. Also, more dialect, um, or excuse me, not dialect, but dialogue um, from different characters and you know NPCs and that stuff. And which, again, that's also you know that's very good. You don't get a whole lot of that with the uh, vanilla Destiny, um, you know, or the you know, the two DLCs may get a little bit better heading in the right direction, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I think it was something that would very vastly improve the game experience, you know, and get you more involved um, with certain characters. I think that would be a great thing for the series. Um, um, and while we're talking about story, um, we'll uh, we'll talk about the setting. Um, it's actually supposed to be the stage is set for the uh, Taken King to take place on a uh, dreadnought, which would be Oryx's ship. It's basically one big ass floating space fortress, which I kind of like the idea. Um, you know, something different rather than running around the planets. Don't get me wrong, I like the planets. Would like to see some new ones. Maybe you know a little bit more of Mercury or you know, possibly Saturn, Jupiter. Um, I know in the one, uh, in one of the, um, one of the Twitch reveals, I saw the Dreadnought floating around what would look to be the rings of Saturn, or maybe that's a little bit of a sneak peek of just where part of the story would be, well, I guess we'll just have to wait till the 15th to find out, um, and also different stuff that they're going to do, um, on, in the Dreadnought, um, you get there'll be an exotic a new exotic quest where 50 pieces or 50 items will be spread around um, that you can go find um, which is also a cool way I think to uh, to introduce some of the new gear um, you know and it, it, you know it uh, pro, or excuse me it uh, oh, what the hell's the word I'm looking for it encourages players to go uh, to go exploring you know and kind of you know find every nook and cranny of this dreadnought um, you know, which is, is nice. Um, also, you won't be able to use uh, to use your sparrows. Um, the map of the entire area. They uh, a lot. Of, obviously, there'll be a lot of tight quarters, and there's not any real world open what area. Um, work is so we can jump to something that I read. So you know, no sparrows. This could be a good or a bad thing. I mean, if it Our really is, is you know, rather confined, it you know, back. and more gunfight oriented than you know, flying through on a speeder bike. I, this could be a good thing, um, but we will have to wait and see. Um, and that brings us back to um, weapons and gear. Um, obviously, um, they're going to have a uh, bit of a new loot system, or excuse me, anyways, on the HUD, um, or not the HUD, but on your uh, on your item screen. Um, I saw it. Um, they'll have obviously. Um, a slot for your ghosts will be on there now, as well as the, th and we'll get into more of that later, but as well as the three item screens, um, armor, and that sort of thing. Um, and while we're talking about the gear, um, we're going to point out that the old gear um, is, is kind of going to be a little obsolete, and I don't really know that this is going to be a good thing um, or a bad thing just yet. I'm kind of leaning towards 
a bad thing, um, just because it's, I mean, I just picked up Destiny maybe a few months ago, and I've been playing it pretty heavy. I've been working, um, you know, to get Scanning myself, work, you know, to a point where I'm ready to take bad on news. the Taken King. It's already in and, hands. you know, I feel like all that work would be for nothing um, with this kind of aspect. Um, but at the same time, I also want to be prepared, and I know if it upsets me, it's really going to piss off those players who have you know, grinded their ass off for an entire year trying to get all these different, you know, all this different armor and guns and leveling, leveling it all up and all the work and time that they put in. That would piss me right the hell off if I was, if I were them. And again, like I said, I picked it up a few months ago, so I'm not really that upset about it. It could be a good thing, but then again, it could be a bad thing as well. Um... Um, also, they talked about um, kind of the uh, the loop system in general. They said that um, the loop backend pays attention to what you need for meaningful improvements. Um, offers a variety of armor and weapon types from what you have, from what you've recently gotten, it's and also tries walls. to avoid repeating the same gear. Um, and that was a quote from creative director Luke Smith. Um, and I really like this idea because everybody knows, you know, opened up quite a few ingrams or you know you've picked up multiple ones at a time it seems more often than not you are picking up the same gear you know two to three times in a row and that's rather annoying especially if you have something you need um, you know that could be a real pain in the ass um, but we'll have to see how that works um, I like the idea of it kind of catering to your needs and what you need so if you have you know if you don't have a legendary, let's say, rocket launcher, and that's the only piece of legendary weaponry you lack, or a legendary helmet, if that's the only piece of legendary armor you lack, that it kind of, you know, gears it to end up dropping um, that piece for you. That sounds good, and it kind of takes away from the whole, uh, you know, I need this, there's no way in hell I'm going to get it, let's grind for hours, you know. Um, which, it kind of seems like, you know, that... That happens with a lot of these looter shooters. What you want, you most certainly will have to work for, to get. But the minute you don't want it, it will drop. Um. Also, um, each uh, each class will receive a new subclass, which is pretty cool. And I saw a gameplay of the uh, of the Titan and the Warlock. Um, in a little bit, um, my videos on YouTube and you know a couple other different places, and it looks pretty cool. So you'll get the uh, you'll get the uh, with the Stormcaller class, and I forget what the name of the one is for the Titan. It's the Solar class, and then obviously the Hunter has the uh, has the Void class. I don't know the name of that one either, but um, should offer new dynamics and whatnot for you to play through and for you to master, um, which I think is a good idea. Um, and also another improvement they're going to be make there will be uh, the quest system in Taken King it's going to be a bit different um, from other DLC and it's in there won't be the quests outside of the Dreadnought they called the uh, the Taken War which will only open up after you complete the story and hit level 40 which you know I think offers some great replay value as well um, and then uh, another thing we're going to talk about, um, probably a little more in depth, is you know as time goes on, a new information is is provided here. Um, will be gear and leveling. You just um, killed an archon. Your leveling system is right. going back this to the old leveling ball. system um, from levels one to twenty, which left off of on to experience points, as opposed to light to take you from twenty to thirty-four. Uh, light will still be involved a little bit, but it will not be. Um, predicated to your level so the way this is going to work is you will need experience points to level from level 34 to the increased level cap of level 40 now um, when you go to play strikes raids story missions what have you um, they will have a recommended light rating and your light rating will be an average of the attack of your weapons um, and an average of the defense of your armor and each mission will have a recommended light level um, so you know kind of what you can tackle and what you will probably get your lily ass kicked in. Which, you know, is, uh, I think is a nice addition to 
Um, didn't really like the light leveling system, but it seems they have uh, come back to fix it, so I'm not going to sit here and pine over it. Um, as I said earlier, uh, it'll be a bit of a new ghost system. Um, they'll have new ghost like skins where you can find, um, and each of these ghosts will have obviously you know different looks because of the skins they also have perks on them such as stat boosts to your you know intellect mm. strength discipline those stats um maybe sense nearby materials or increase glimmer for killing specific enemies like hive or fallen um things of that nature um and i really like this because it's a great way to keep people involved in, for hunting ghosts um you know i remember like i said i just picked up destiny about a few months back um found a few dead ghosts but really have no incentive to go and find these um i'm not real a big achievement guy and that's all you're rewarded for um you know but i think this would be a nice incentive to keep people looking um in a worst case scenario it's another another perk um or something for you to work for to buy at a vendor <laughs> Okay, um, also there's going to be changes in the tower, um, Good in specifically the gunsmith, he will actually be able to give you certain weapon specific quests, um, collection quests, um, for an exotic heavy was mentioned, um, and he'll also have like what something they call weapons testing, and um, that'll be closely tied with Arms Day. Um, the gunsmith has his own reputation now, just like your other factions, um, like Future War Cult, New Monarchy, and so on and so forth. Um, and you'll gain reputation by completing field tests with certain weapons. I'm sure um, it's basically like an additional set of bounties. Kill X amount of enemies with this weapon. Complete this mission with this weapon. Um, once enough, if your reputation is gained. You can order Arms Day weapons, which are special legendaries from one of the foundries. Um, and when they say order, they there mean order. It will be here on you order it on a Tuesday. It'll be here on a Friday, for example. Um, don't really know the actual length of time that it will take, but that is the idea. Um, currency in the uh, currency in the uh, in the uh, tower will be changed there will no longer be no more vanguard or crucible marks those have been replaced by what they call legendary marks okay um, the sky watch is just on the other side also of the think steps. this is a, a nice and improvement to have just so you can, uh, you can well, do away with the uh, you, you know are. gain a reputation for one house um, or the other I mean if you only wanted one piece of armor from one one vendor and weapons from another you can just take care of it all rather quickly there is no um, forgetting that you switch bonds or you know what I mean and playing for an hour or two and forgetting that you just made absolutely no progress and accomplished nothing that you wanted to um, which has definitely happened to me before so um, also we will uh, we're going to talk about Zer the, you know, he will have a new item amazing. in his inventory um, called the Three of Coins, which um, will be a, a new consumable Off item, which will increase the drop rate of an exotic for the next boss fight. Um, you know, I, this is just phenomenal. This is what we need as players. Um, because I've seen videos of certain people on Destiny where they say, where they've done rock stripes trying to get exotics. Um, you know, Lord knows we've played enough raids where you don't really get much at the end and you kind of disappointed you put in all that work um you know just i really think this would be a way to keep you know up the hill keep the players uh radar. keep players That's interested especially with all the new weapons and items coming out um you know i think this is a great improvement um f you know for the community and well for everybody really um which speaking of strikes we're going to talk about that a little bit um Let's see here. Um, so, from what I read, it seemed Bungie wanted to re or me, wanted to focus on replayability with um, with the strikes. So, um, for the new strikes, I, this I believe this is for. Um, and don't quote me on this, but um, 
I believe they have just for the strikes for the Taken King. They will have different um, different dialogue with certain um, with certain um, enemies, different enemy types that can happen. Um, so I mean, you could play this. Essentially, what I'm saying is, is you could play this a number of different times and never have played the same strike twice on the same level, um, which is nice. You know, it offers replayability and and so on and so forth. So we'll do that. Um, and let's see um, strike bosses for the, the new strikes um, will also require a bit of more like raid techniques and when I say that is like um, the relic from the vault of glass that sort of thing um, and Atheon you know um, not just your typical bullet sponge of a boss fight um, which is you know kind of interesting we'll see how that plays out and whether whether we like that or not um, also the uh, the matchmaking system will be structured a bit differently. It'll be centered around light instead of level. Um, and will be broken into a few different categories depending on DLC. Um, and they didn't really uh, didn't really go into much of that. So I'm not going to elaborate any more on that. Um, obviously, um, we'll be getting some uh, some new Crucible maps as well. Um, I got a sneak peek at these on a Twitch reveal, um, and they go from everywhere to Earth, to Mercury, to the Dreadnought, um, to the Reef. Uh, they're all over the place. Some of them look pretty cool. We'll have to check those out when they get there. Um, like I said, there's eight more of them in total. We'll get some more game modes as well. Salvage will be, um, will, I think is going to stick around. Um, we have a new zone control which is just like control except you won't get uh, any points from kills so it'll give you it's a little bit more objective based rather than um, you know the combination of you know the two um, they have a, a new mode that we saw called rift um, which is more this of a of capture the flag um, in the a sense you a grab a Oh, I forget what it was that I saw, but a player grabs a certain item in the map, and he his teammates need to protect him while he takes it to his enemy, Dead the end. other, or excuse me, Fallen the opposing team's this rift. Um, I can get in a it sense, um, it looked pretty cool. I'm interested in trying it, um, but I heard that will be a rotational type game in the crucible, or a rotational type match in the crucible, so it won't be around on a permanent basis Fallen as of yet. Um, also. Um, the bounty system has been uh, has been retooled. It's uh, they have it all set to one screen, I believe. You can pull it up with your ghost instead of having to go Lots into your inventory menu, which is kind of nice. Because um, if you're like me, I'm checking on them, you know, rather often, um, and I, um, you know, it takes away from the action. It kind of slows me down, or I find myself doing it on trips to. You know, other planets or in between crucible matches, which can kind of be a pain in the ass. Um, as far and the last thing we're going to talk about is the raid. Um, I didn't read anything on the, on the raid. There was nothing in the article, um, so no information on that as of yet. Believe me, as as more information comes out over the next month, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll put it to you guys as best I can, um, or as often as I can. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about um, is, you know, basically questions for you guys. I mean, do you think this is going to be worth the 40 bucks? Um, you know, almost the price of a, of a game. You've already spent, you know, 40 bucks on you know, your two, uh, your two previous expansions. Um, Unless you spent 35, which saved you five bucks with the expansion pass. Um, I mean, do you guys really think this is going to be worth 40 bucks? I mean, it sounds like they've revamped a lot of things, and they have uh, they have quite a bit of new content in here. Um, I think it it is mostly geared to older players, though. Um, but they did talk about how they uh, in an interview with somebody I forget who it was. I read they were going to give you. Um, a gift of sorts, which you could actually use to start your player at where the cake, or excuse me, where the Taken King starts. So essentially, they have this gift for you in the tower, and you go get it um, with a new character, and it will essentially catapult you to the appropriate level to start the Taken King. Um, 
so um, essentially they're giving you a free pass to level from level 1 to I'm assuming it will probably be somewhere around like level 25 to 30 somewhere in that range um, but I mean it sounds like a pretty good deal I'm excited I can't wait um, I've been looking forward to this quite a bit as I said I've been playing Destiny quite often um, but, you know, also want to hear your guys' opinions. If you think it's going to be worth 40 bucks, are you going to go get it? Um, I have it pre-ordered. Um, so on September 15th, I'll probably download it. I probably won't get around to playing it until the morning of the 16th, which I believe is that Wednesday. Um, but, yeah, so uh, real excited for this. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to leave it here. I'll uh, let the video run so you can kind of watch this new hunter I created and uh, let me run through this level real quick. And uh, yeah, with that, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, look forward to the thing, and hope to see you guys there. Later. Wizards here. haven't been on Earth in centuries. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. We should probably get moving.